Mosques across Austin are reviewing security measures after this man was spotted dousing the North Austin Muslim Community Center's building with gasoline, trying to set it on fire. Tonight, KXAN's Eugene Cho has learned police are stepping up patrols, and each mosque is making its own preparations ahead of the holy month of Ramadan. Even this area is monitored while we are talking here. Security is a top priority at the Islamic Center of Lake Travis. The reality is we uh, lost this whole building two years back. The mosque burned down in 2017. We moved on almost immediately how we can rebuild. During that process, they made sure to add cameras, make the building well lit, and secure the property with a gate. Now they're once again reviewing everything after someone tried to set the North Austin Muslim Community Center on fire. This is after someone smashed windows and slashed tires at the same mosque last fall. Police said this was the person of interest. We believe we have to be prepared for anything. Uh, that's, that's the whole point. We want not to be doing all of this, but this is the reality of everybody right now. I also spoke with board members at the Islamic Center of Greater Austin. They told me they're stepping up security, especially for Friday evenings. That's when hundreds of people attend prayers. They're also increasing security for Ramadan, which begins in May. The holy month brings together people of all ages. We are concerned, but at the same time, uh, we are undeterred in coming to worship. We always like to focus on the positive that the majority of the people are very loving and caring people. Eugen Cho, KXAN News. Leaders at the Lake Travis Mosque told us investigators were not able to determine the cause of the 2017 fire there. Right now, they're asking anyone who may recognize the clothes on this suspect to please call the Austin Police Department. Hate crimes in the U.S. have been on the rise. The most recent complete FBI data is from 2017. That was the third straight year hate crimes increased. And that year, there was a more than 17% increase. Hate crimes and attacks were most commonly committed for racial or ethnic reasons. More than 20% were motivated by religion, followed by a victim's sexual orientation. 